After an appearance in the NCAA Championships last spring and a strong showing in the fall, the Loper Golf Team is ready to make the turn. Being cooped up indoors since October, UNK returns to the greens this spring, trying to build on their recent success by sticking with a tried and true formula. At the end of the day, we got there by trying to just get a little better every day. That's really what we've been trying to do th this year and hopefully make back to postseason. With the success that came last spring also came the graduation of two regulars in their lineup, leaving the Lopers navigating a new starting five, a transition that has been led by their three returners, which includes senior Allison Comer. We knew we kind of were going to have a little bit change in our lineup, so we kind of knew that was going to be an adjustment. Each tournament, like, we really started to understand each other better and just kind of how we worked newly as this group. Even with the change, the Lopers had a strong showing in the fall where they placed in the top half of all the meets that they participated in. This also included their first home meet since 2019, winning on their home turf in the Nebraska Intercollegiate. The Lopers aren't in a rush to set goals for the spring, preferring to let their play speak for itself and have a good time while doing so. We haven't really ever done too many like big picture goals at the beginning of years. I think if girls kind of let their natural talent and ability and kind of hard work uh, shine, then we'll be in a great spot. Just having fun, being confident in who we are and like the new team that we do have and just kind of having no expectations or no pressure and just see what happens. UNK will begin the spring in Oklahoma, hitting the road for the Hillcat Classic, hosted by MIAA member Rogers State from March 11th through the 12th. For the Loper Report, I'm Trayton Harmon.